one, so I think I might finally dive into it. And then come back to this. Because I did promise a oppressor build. That's actually what it was called. An oath keeper. Uh, necromancer. That sounded kind of fun. Powering on. My gone. Why am I hearing myself? Why, 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 why are you doing that to me? Why? What, what's going on? <laughs> uh, oh, I know why. Doop. Oh, I was on my own channel. Alright. This is the character I want to do next. A necromancer. Summoner. With oath keeper. Like shield defensive. Shield throw. <clears throat> I thought it would be kind of fun. Because you can make whatever you want in this game. And uh, this is what I wanted to do. The shield throw. Ability. Crit damage. Effects up to two targets. Retaliation damage. Burn damage. And then they also get a summon. So that's why I also want to do them. So I think that would be fun. So yeah, this is a little attack damage converted to health. That's actually pretty damn good uh, for a default attack. But yeah, anyways, that's not what we're doing today, though. And also, good morning, everybody. I am Sir Failure Knights. Uh, Sir Failure, if you want to call it for Sir, or just Failure, you know, it's fine, too. Uh, main menu. Um, everything goes up on YouTube, Sir Failure Nights on YouTube. Um, I think I finally put a link on my, on my, uh, Twitch channel, like somewhere near the banner. You can just click it and I think it goes straight to the YouTube. Cause you can't actually type the URL Sir Failure Nights. I can't change that yet. Um, it's technically a bunch of letters and numbers and gibberish. <clears throat> but if you go to YouTube and then just search for me, you'll, I'll pop up. But anyways, finally everything matches. And we are at a cool 32 followers. And I just noticed you clicked that follow button. I definitely appreciate it. I did not hear any of my notifications. That does not work. And we're going to do that. That. There we go. Your name is too long for my box. That's what she said. Um... I'll have to maybe get my overlay person to fix that. <laughs> uh, but, um, what else was there? Um, yeah, once we get to 50, I can apply for being a affiliate. And then start getting subscribers, <clears throat> get emotes, badges, I think, or a badge. Um, which I am extremely excited for. I already know what I want with all that. Um, so this is a elite difficulty. Um, I've already did normal with this character. Again, all on YouTube. Um, this is what I am packing. I recently got this during my elite run. <clears throat> two demolitionist, two all skills, and two explosive strike. And a bunch of burn damage. It's mainly burn focused build. Uh, components are an amazing part of this game. You can put them on any weapon that it qualifies for. Or any armor that it qualifies for. Like on here I got a component for health regen, armor, and poison and acid resistance. And this one gives me defense ability, defense ability percentage, health regen, and elemental resistance. <clears throat> and that's what my resistances are looking like. Horrible at bleeding and 
pretty bad at stun. Stun's not too important, but boss fights, it could matter. Um, so that's what I'm packing here. Just a bunch of burn, fire damage. Cluster bomb and ignition doesn't really do much for me. I think ignition does, though. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then later on you unlock you unlock these, which you can put on top of components as well. So, yeah, fifty. Yep. You, well, you need more. You need like fifty followers. Um, what was it? Uh, three. Uh, three average viewers. Um, which I, I hit like 2.5 while I was taking time off uh, for the holidays. Um, and what was the other ones? Either way, it's it's by the time you hit 50, you're pretty much getting those other uh, requirements. Uh, let, let me move these boxes around over on my side here. There we go. That's better. So I can see the chat box more closer to my right hand, right hand side, which is over there. No, over there. No, oh, it is over there. Anyways, whatever. <sighs> yeah, here. Here, I'll get, I can show where we're at right now. Channel analytics. Um, no, not channel analytics. Stream summary. Where does it show my requirement? Um, is it achievements? Achievements? I think it might be achievements. Path to affiliate. That's it. So, boop, boop, boop. So, yeah, you need 50 followers. And this is a 30 day period um, for the rest of the stuff, anyway. Stream eight hours, well over that. Um, seven different days. So once we get closer to 50, I'll have to start streaming like half days on Sundays to get my uh, seven different days. And then 3% average viewers, which I'm at apparently 2.9. But yeah, that's what it uh, takes now. And then partner is this, this, and 75 viewers, which honestly isn't that big of a jump um, from affiliate to partner. So yeah, cool stuff. Boop, boop. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're at. And here is my skill tree, real quick. This is my um, toggle ability, uh, passive. No, it reserves mana. You know, it, it's just always on. <laughs> Why can't I cast it? What is Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways, we'll figure that out later. This is my default attack, fire strike. It's maxed at level 12, but I have enough uh, skill uh, items that increase it to 17. And like this one is increased all the way up to 20. So, so yeah, your items in this game are big. Um, they can add a lot of uh, buffs to your build. Then I got this one for survivability, gives movement speed, defense, less damage from Elderidge and Cathonix, uh, reduced uh, entrapment stuff, and increased damage, and ethereal and chaos resistance. So, more, more stuff that these trigger off of uh, default attacks, so you just have to attack and these will eventually trigger. So they're pretty good. This is my deviation tree. This is where it can be kind of similar to Path of Exile. Um, but take it slow. You'll figure it out. And you can search. So if you want fire, it'll highlight fire abilities. If you want resist, 
Then the, there's all the resistances in the tree. There's vitality resistance, physical resistance, lightning resistance. So it's just like most games. Um, pick a defense type you want to use. Like there's always armor, but I'm also doing uh, regeneration, uh, health per second regeneration. Um, and then I do fire damage. My build is heav heavily focused around fire damage. So I leaned heavy into fire damage and a little bit into electric and, uh, and cold damage, but not that much. So like if you see here, my attack speed is that. Attacks per second. Uh, weapon damage. And then here is my fire damage. Where's my fire stat? Where's my burn modifier? That's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah. No, this is retaliation. Where's my... Normal attack, physical. You can if you, there is a stat, you will find it in this game. So here's my fire mo modifier: one thousand four hundred and twenty-seven. Um, fire damage is three thousand two hundred and fifty-nine to three thousand eight hundred eighty-one. So um, this is uh, slightly end game, mid game, considering there's three difficulties and you have to pass um, two difficulties to get to the ultimate difficulty. Which we'll eventually run through ultimate, but I think I'm gonna go to Path of Exile today. Um, and I did this DLC. Here's the map, by the way. Um, there's the big map. This is the DLC of the game. I think it took took me about five hours to get through the DLC, <clears throat> if I'm right. That was only doing the main quest through this. Um, I already did this in the normal difficulty. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it's on YouTube. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, so failure net's on YouTube. Um, but you start here. You go to here. And this will take you about two hours to get to here. An hour, two hours. <clears throat> Probably two. Um, and then you snake back here. You go all the way through all of this. All of this. All of this. All of this. All of that. And then you go all the way back over here to Devil's Crossing. And then you teleport. And then you go through all of this. All of this. This is where we currently are. Caverns Refuge. And then all of that. And then this is the final act of the game. Right here. This is where we're going to get to and stop. Yes. Okay, hold on, guys. Anyways, here we go. Alright. So we are going to continue from there. This game is big. It's girthy. It's fun. Hey, you got to use the word girthy, okay? My wife and uh, child are down here. Our baby girl. 18 months old. Almost uh, 19 months old. Isn't she? The 20 On the 27th. Yeah, she's almost eight. Oh, I think she's oh, okay. Apparently, she's almost eighteen months old. Um, there's also uh, uh, vanity in this game. Um, you can uh, change your look to however you want. All you have to do is find the item, and then you can change your look as you please. It's pretty cool. So um, I could change my bow, my weapon to a crossbow. I could change it to that. 
I do kind of like this, so I'll probably just keep it where it's at. Or that. That's pretty cool, too. So if you like a certain look, you don't have to sacrifice the look for the item. <laughs> My me. Yeah, it's there. Okay, I was making sure. Yes, baby girl. Hi. What's up? <laughs> we'll run away. Okay. Anyways, I think that's enough tutorial. Let's move on. Uh, all right. So we are just running through the act, just getting to ultimate difficulty. So what happens at ultimate difficulty... Which is actually isn't true, but I used to think it was true. Um, you unlock uh, the ability to um, start a character on Elite Difficulty. But apparently... What? Oh, apparently, once you get to Elite Difficulty, there is a vendor in the DLC content. Um, actually, you might, honestly, you might be able to... No, I don't think so. Um, anyways, when, in the DLC area... There's a vendor. As you see, I'm I'm pretty beefy for this content uh, on the story default anyways. Not much does to me except for bosses. Not much does to me. Yeah. Not much hurts me. And I do a ton of damage. Um, This is, again, this is all like flashy stuff and game stuff, so. So it's, it's hard for somebody to figure out what's all going on on the screen without maybe watching the playthrough on YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Um, but seriously, um, as you play the game, it'll slowly click and you'll figure it out. Um, I mean, just like Path of Exile, you just uh, pick a gem to concentrate on and just build around that gem. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad, you'll figure it out as you go. That's how I did it anyways. Um, but yeah. I felt like I was saying something more important. And now I don't know where I was. <sighs> Story of my life. Oh, I remember now. So there's a vendor in there that uh, sells you a gem, and I'm debuffing myself. That's handy. What? Oh, bye-bye. But yeah, there's a vendor that sells a stone that allows you to... Um, I think you have to transfer it to your character, and then your character will become level 55 I think is what it said with all of the the shrine or ritual whatever they call what are they called do, do. all of these shrines yeah all the th these shrines give you deviation points and so you'll become level 55 with all the shrines you can find of normal difficulty Maybe it gives you some basic gear. I, I'm not. I'm, I don't know. We're gonna find out today, though. Um, but right now, I want to finish Malmuth, the final act of the game. And then we'll go from there. And then when we come back to this game, um. I will be playing a Oppressor, is what the combination uh, name is for the build I'm doing. It is a Necromancer um, Oathbreaker. Oathkeeper? Oathbreaker? Oathkeeper? Oathkeeper. Um, they're mainly like a shield, um, tanky build. And the Necromancer is obviously more of a mage, summoner. 
that's what we'll be doing. This game allows you to make whatever the hell you want um, of a character. So it's pretty cool. And some areas are gated by dynamite, scrap. Um, you just find them throughout the game. You don't find dynamite until act two of the game. Um, which is once you beat the the warden. You start finding dynamite when you fight the bandits. And this is a uh, treacherous domain. I guess I'll talk about this here. They give uh, debuffs randomly. Um, there's no, as far as I can tell, there's no rhyme or reason to them. It's just whatever comes up. So they do more poison damage. And either they have less vitality resistance or I do. I'm not sure sometimes. Um, cast speed is slower for me. And my chaos resistance is up, or their chaos resistance. I, I don't know what applies to them and what applies to me. Players experience slowed casting, but are more resistant to chaos. So I am more resistant to chaos damage. Okay. Monsters are tainted with poison. So this is their buff. This is my debuff buff. But yeah. So normally there's a boss at the end and a chest. So it just gives good loot. And this is one of the small ones. Oh, and I leveled up first. Sure, I'll kill you guys. <laughs> They're waiting for me to activate. That's the boss. This was like, this is like the shortest dungeon there is. But I leveled up. So let's do that. So after level 50, you start only getting two skill points. But at level 1 through 50, you get three. Um, so I think I was concentrating over here. Um, so I still want to keep moving forward because I want storm spread. And then I also want to get to aura of sen censure. Uh, Susher? That's a weird one. Uh, but yeah, that's another toggle ability. It gives more fire damage. I mean, come on. I do lose elemental resistance though. So that's kind of sucky. But. I have a good bit of Helmetrus, so not a big deal. Anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, let's up this one. Yeah, more more damage, more resistance. Good time. And let's do it. Ooh, okay, you're hard. And I didn't put a portal down. Pro tip here. Um, this game is very generous when it comes to portals. Um, all you have to do is press L and a portal will pop up. If you're about to fight a boss, put down a portal where it'll let you put a portal. Uh, in some spots it doesn't let you put down a portal, but most cases you can put one like two feet away from where you are. But in this case, I have to run all the way back to where I was. Because I am, I am very squishy. I am le squishy. So uh, don't mind me. It did. It did. I am a very squishy character. But yeah, if I don't move around, I'm, I'm essentially dead. Because um, I went pretty darn glass cannon. Like, boop. Oh, I need to put my buffs on. And uh, there's also like healing balms and salves and stuff that do different stuff. The one I use is a health regen for a duration.
But yeah, my base stat damage is 30,000 damage. It's it's pretty high. 30 is 37,000. So I do good damage, but I don't live long. Okay, portal. So I'll just push out. Boop. Now if I die, I'll be right back here. Alright, let's try this again. I might not be able to do this, honestly. Um, there are some bosses I'm finding in this difficulty. I'm thinking at, at the current moment and doing it wrong. There we go. Oof. 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 Yeah, see, I don't know if I'll be able to kill you. Yeah, I did that um, um, a while back. Um, not on this channel, but just when I was playing by myself. I did that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give this one more try, but I don't think I can kill it. I think I'm just uh, too squishy, uh, but we'll try. Um, buff, buff, and buff. Go back to this. I just need to find a good spot. Um, I was kind of standing in one spot, and thankfully this game doesn't de-level you. <laughs> Yeah, see that? I need a... Uh, yeah, see that combo. There's just not a lot of movement speed. I want to try this one more time. I feel like I can do this. Um, I think I was just in the wrong spot. I need to stay out of the middle. I think I need to stay out of the middle. I think I can handle being hit by these things. How much do you actually hurt? That's locked. Was it only if I move? Hit me. Okay, I mean, you take down like half my health. That does hurt. Not, that's, that's, that's not a lie. Um, I can't shoot that far. I really got to stay out of that uh, circle there. Maybe up close? Maybe up close. Nope, oh, nope. See, I do ton of damage. He's dying. Just so am I. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. <laughs> so they also don't regen ha uh, health too fast unless it's a certain mob. So I might actually be able to just uh, um, wear him down. <clears throat> It's just such a tight spa space for a range character. I also should be using force move, not um, my default attack as my movement skill. Because I will shoot anything that is shootable. Um, ooh, and that's done. That's done. Um, and then it'll stop me instead of moving me when I want to move. Okay, I can kill him. He's almost dead. Uh, so we're just going to hit my head against the wall for a minute. I think I was doing better up close. Um, we'll, so we'll do that. Uh, no. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going we're gonna to go up here. There's just more room up here. Oh yeah, there you go. He's dead. That's all it was. <laughs> so I do a ton of damage. It's just if it's such a tight quarters, it can be a little difficult. So once you get to elite difficulty, legendaries drop like all the time. Um, that's that's why I think it almost would be more fun if you like kind of mainline normal difficulty and just get it over with. And then really concentrate playing on elite. Then you'll get a lot more fun items. Um, but this is not for me. Um, and neither is that. Maybe keep this for my next character. 
that's one hint I can give you guys. Uh, well, tip is more the right word for that. Um, think about your next character throughout your playthrough and then pick up items for that character. That way, um, you're not picking up a ton of stuff that you don't really need and it clutters your bank. Like, if I can show my bank later, you'll see what I mean. Um, because you'll find it again through your second playthrough, but it, you can equip your next character so you have a little bit of a head start on that. Rather than having a bank full of like random stuff that may or may not be useful in your next run. Always keep components though. Never get rid of components. Uh, yeah, Oathkeeper is really good. I've been doing Demolitionist a lot. I just love fire. <laughs> fire damage is really nice. And they have the toggle ability. I love the toggle ability. And you can use their default attack with ranged or melee. Um, it doesn't have to be... This isn't a ranged uh, default attack. It's just a whatever weapon you're using works. Oh, they definitely are. Without a doubt. Because, yeah, that's what I did. I did an Oathkeeper Demolitionist. But Oathkeeper Demolitionist, I noticed, had some uh, overlapping um, things where you couldn't quite decide which one was better to use. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, my next build, I want to do an, uh, a shield throw, which is Oath, Oathkeeper, Oathbreaker, whatever it is. And then a necromancer. I want to be a summoning, a summoning uh, tank character. I think that'll be fun. Because Oathkeeper ha also has some summoning abilities. So I think that'll be fun. Because I want to do a tankier character. I keep doing these like glass cannons, <laughs> and I'm getting tired of it to be honest. Uh. I am very warm. Oh. But then I'm going to get cold. I keep a blanket on my lap because it gets cold down here. But now I'm going to get cold. I already feel it happening. Oh, we I want the totem. So there is a um, mechanic with these totems, Forsaken Savage Totem. Um, they summon monsters that give good drops. Sometimes they're really hard, sometimes they're not as hard. Like this one's not one of the hard ones. I mean, it's hard, but not like, they, they can summon boss mobs is what I'm saying. <laughs> so this is one of the easier ones. Mm. I'll keep it just to sell it, I guess. Oh, and there is a loot filter in this game, by the way. So you can uh, tailor your build. Yeah, yep, yep. That's something I don't... I wonder why Path of Exile doesn't have a loot filter like this. Like, why? <laughs> Is it too complicated for their system that they have? It's like, every game has a loot filter, why don't you? They have like every other mechanic under the sun, except for a loot filter. People have to make a loot filter for you. It's 
like, we don't feel like making a loot filter, so we'll give people the option to make loot filters and put it in the game. That's essentially what they said. I should look that up because um, the person I watch uh, play Path of Exile, Co Carnage, he uses the uh, Never Sync filter. I have no idea what it does. I, I get it, it's a loot filter, but I don't know how it loots filter. Or filters loot. There you go, that's the word for it. But yeah. Because I think I'm going to play Path of Exile. I think I'm going to play it after we beat this area. Um, no. Sorry, beat this last act of the game. <sighs> and also, good morning to all of you. Uh, wait, loot filter? Here or in PO? PoE, and here. Right here. Loot filter, toggle, show hide items. So I don't show common, magic, or rare anymore. But PoE does have a loot filter. You have to like somebody has to make it, and then you have to. It's it's a it's a process that I will show when I go to it. But um, yeah. And I always have always show uniques, always show double rares. Um, I honestly don't know what a double rare is. A rare and monster and frequent quality. Hmm. Yeah, is that all it does? Is that all the loot filter does? Does it not like um filter it to your build? That's what I meant by this one. You can change it to what build type you're doing. But Poe doesn't have that, and it's it's just so weird. It's like why not? <laughs> Where does this go? I don't think I did this last time. Actually, I probably did. Oh, this thing hurts you. I have no idea why. But this thing, like, it, it attacks you. And I don't get its purpose. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it makes it more obvious for um, gems and uh, currency. Also, items that sell well to vendors. I know it does that. I just find it weird that PoE doesn't have a, a loot system. I, pick, I pretty much pick things up just so I could sell them later. Ugh. Also, later in the game, you can blow them up for materials um, and components. So that can be kind of handy. What are all you people doing in here, by the way? I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong, but sheesh. <laughs> Hello to all of you. I appreciate you stopping by. I do eventually want to take this full time, so your support is much appreciated. I've been doing this for about 120 hours. Um, I've been streaming for three months, but... What What did you just spell? <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been doing this for a little bit, um, and I've been enjoying every second of it. Like, I've played this game multiple times, like six different times. And uh, I would get bored. I, I, playing by myself, I would get bored. And I have now made it to level 75. And I've played Vulcan. Um, last Epoch. Epoch is how you spell it. Ah, almost died there. Um, and Titan's Quest. And I've loved every minute of it. 
Streaming has like brought back the joy of gaming for me. It's really crazy. <laughs> Cause like I, I, I like playing with people and you are my people. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to do some other stuff. I'm just pushing forward and I gotta talk to people. I got to find the bowel worm. Which I think I know where that one is. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I played a little bit of the Arcanist. It was a good time. I only got it to like level 20 though. Because like I said, I get bored of it. Yeah, I know. I, I was like pushing forward and not actually like, you know, doing what I need to be doing. Um, let's actually teleport back. Um, nice. But yeah, I needed to go over here. Well, that, that's a that's essentially I I uh, left click and everything dies essentially. <laughs> at at thirty thousand thirty seven thousand DPS, most things die pretty damn quick. <laughs> You strike me as a violent person, but I want you to know that despite any past transgressions... Nope, you're dead. If you don't know why this guy is evil, you'll find out when you play. Uh, it's a pretty tropey evil thing. Um, it's not too surprising. I think I have to go through the house. I think you do. Can't remember. But there is a nice lady in here that gives you soup. Just don't question what the soup is made out of. Um. I played a shaman very little. Um, I did like a two-handed uh, build with the shaman. It was pretty good. Arcanus isn't bad to mix with the shaman for more elemental damage. Um, but it depends on like uh, what weapon type you want to use. Because I think you can dual wield with the shaman. Um, you can also do like a summon build with the shaman. Yeah, yeah. It's not really about like what to mix with it's what build you want <laughs> like do you want to do a mage summoner i think you can do ranged shaman i think it might not work as well but i think you can um oh, i can't go th oh no i can't eh. I think my demolitionist does some stuff for. So if you could do demolitionist, two-handed melee weapons. This gets more crit and total damage modifier. Um, but this is also off the base attack, so you would have to use fire strike. Um, it, I know it shows bullets, but it works just off of this attack. It's just a default attack. And then the toggle ability. Gives you fire and lightning damage, which Shaman does lightning damage, so it kind of works with that. Mm -hmm. And this can be kind of nice for enemies that get close to you. This is retaliation damage stuff, too. This is also retaliation damage and more elemental resistance. Activates off of 60% health. I don't think Inquisitor would help you at all. 